What is up everybody, it's your boy Cameron Bash here and welcome back to the Movement Channel. Today, we're coming at you with another WWE 2K22 video, where in this one, we're going to be covering the Day 1 patch notes for this game. Now, the Day 1 patch notes for any game can often be quite important. Sometimes they fix some major issues with the game, sometimes they'll tweak some content a little bit, and other times, the Day 1 patch will add whole modes and features to the game at the very last minute. We know that a lot of people are holding out hope for some specific changes in the Day 1 patch notes, based on the announcement that some features wouldn't be in WWE. WWE 2K22, such as advanced entrances. So we're going to go over the full day one patch notes right now to see what's included. So the day one patch, which was live by the time the game started to release worldwide, addressed seven issues with the game. The first thing they fixed was, a crash may occur when interacting with a ladder bridge as it is broken and vanishes. Haven't had any issues with this thus far when playing ladder matches, so it does look like this one was a success. The second patch was, a player may lose functionality if a superstar is standing on the apron when triggering a run-in. So quite a specific issue here, but one that has been addressed and fixed nonetheless. The next issue was... Two issues with the championship entrance for Charlotte Flair, both can trigger when performing a run-in. She must be in the ring to trigger these issues. First, the game may crash if the referee or Charlotte Flair is attacked as her robe is being removed during the entrance. Second, players may encounter a deformance issue with Charlotte Flair when performing certain strikes from behind. The issue will recover if you exit the ring and Charlotte follows you out. So again, some very specific issues here, this time related to Charlotte Flair. So it's nice to see that these were sorted out as she'll likely be one of the more popular women to play as in this game. Next, the game may crash when loading a user-created custom WWE Championship in the ladder or TLC match. I gave this one a try for myself as well, and it wasn't anything I was having any issues with, so all good there. A match may fail to end after eliminating that final superstar during a Money in the Bank Championship match. Seems as if there were a couple of issues when it came to the ladder matches in this game, but it's great to see that they're fixed now. And finally, the game may crash if multiple superstars gather in a corner of the cage in a Hell in a Cell match. Now while this isn't something I've experienced myself in this game, I have experienced it in other WWE games before this, so I'm glad it's not going to be an issue in this one. And there you have it everyone, all 7 things fixed in the day 1 patch for WWE 2K22. We're going to be covering the majority of the patches for this game, especially ones that we believe you guys should know about, so if this is something that you want to stay up to date with, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you never miss out. We've also recently uploaded a video around the topic of custom renders, as we understand that a lot of people are struggling with this, and our video tells you how to both get them into the game, and then how to use them. So if this is an area you're struggling with and need some help, make sure to check out the link in the description to check out this video. But with that, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to let us know how you're enjoying WWE 2K22 so far in the comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more 2K22 content. Thanks very much for watching this video and we'll see you soon for another one.